test the test. Uh, you can cut out that other shit. And put diamonds in our niggas. Put drink inside my lemonade till it look like a bitch. See, I come from the D where we got checks and we be flexing. If you ain't from my state, then you should know don't fuck with Texas. Hey, we always trap, we keep our weapons. My mama from the A, she slowed it down for me at seven. Used to think Pimpsy was the guy before he went to heaven. I knew what pushing P was before Gunny even said it. Hey, she zero taught me keep my weapon And never trust a nigga or a bitch cause it's expected No killers from the country, they ride horses and throw cellars Got niggas in the East, ride ATVs with Mac 11 First off, you better remember what that sign say before you come down here, this bitch Don't mess with Texas Cause you know everybody around here, bitch, got guns, nigga Hey, see y'all from Texas We got Beyonce, try the truth, and we can't forget Devin Big shout out to them boys, and I can't forget about them Texas I been feeling like Luca, how about that shit a blessing Number one rule in Texas, keep it solid, ain't no telling Hey, and always keep your fucking weapon A nigga try me or the guys, we got no choice but stretch him If he survive, he shot that first bit, he die on that stretch Deep diamonds, I got water, might just go Johnny my next one Hey Um, yeah, so I've been gone for a minute and obviously now you can see why if you didn't watch the last video um, This this is this is why this is also my second time filming this video I filmed the whole thing and all I did was walk around this place and show you everything And what we did and what we've been doing the last month pretty much building this place and a bunch of other things And just as you can see there's a lot going on so instead of taking an entire video to show you guys everything that's going on, I'm gonna speed that up and we're gonna get working on the Bronco. Yeah, honestly, this thing is just, unfortunately, since we moved, it's just kinda chilling, hanging out. And I took everything off before we left and I haven't been able to put anything back on, including this entire interior. And um, yeah. I haven't driven this thing in forever. It's got 1,600 miles on it since last August. Way under mileage. The, the dealership actually called me, tried to get me in a four-door Badlands for the same price um, because they wanted this one, and I asked them if it was a stick, and they said no. So because this one's a stick, obviously we're gonna keep this, but we're still gonna build this. And that starts like right now.
there you have it guys we have our scoop hood on it looks really good i love the body lines obviously there's a i have it in the back seat of my truck but this plate here now i've changed the color i wanted to paint this bronco i don't know how many times now um more than i could count on one hand let me tell you that but the color i think i'm going with i have zero idea what i'm gonna like accent it with so as we're putting it all together we'll figure out what we'll accent it with if we'll powder coat this get it resecured in here paint it i don't know yet um obviously everything's gonna get paint matched i don't know what i'm doing with the headlights obviously we upgraded these to the oem um leds so those are gonna stay but i don't know if i'm gonna open these or not i'd like to and get the um clear marker in there but i don't i truly i i don't know yet However, next step here is to get this fender, um, well, mounted. But to get it mounted, we got to do a lot of drilling, um, getting all of these holes drilled out so we can get our mounting, um, our mounting bolts in and get this thing set. So we're, so we're going to get this thing all drilled out, and um, we'll also get that fender liner out as well. We do have the fiberglass ones up there. Get those fiberglass liners installed as well. But for now, we're going to get this all drilled out and ready to go. <laughs> Today, something down inside me is different. Woke up a little off today. I can tell that something's wrong. I'm a little thrown off today. There's something going on inside me. I'm a little bit off today. A little bit off today. I'm a little bit off today. Alright, as you guys can see, we got the uh, front fenders and our scoop hood on. It looks really good. It looks really, um, actually, really aggressive. I only put the one um, kind of hood handle in because all of this is going to come back off again because we're painting the whole thing a completely different color. I just want to make sure that the fenders go on, everything fits. 
um, the way it's drilled now so that after it's painted we don't have to re-drill or modify anything but as long as it fits right now this is great um, we still need to work come in here and um, get the rear quarters all drilled and lined up matched up a couple modifications need to be done to um, this rear bracket along with this bracket up front here that holds the uh, front balance on here because it's actually going to bolt through this side instead of this way now um, just the way the kit is but we're going to have to modify that but again that won't need to happen until this whole thing is going back together um, we will there's a slight tab you need to or a, a little tab on the valance thing up here um, that you do need to trim off we will trim that before we paint it but um, other than that um, everything looks pretty good body lines are sharp here this fender can actually be um and that was the plan we're going to loosen it bump the top in a little bit i actually shifted the hood this way to close this gap because this was um pushed as far in as possible so i had to close this gap by moving the hood over um and it actually lines up a lot better um up here now as well with everything too so all right guys like i said there's a lot going on a lot a lot you'll obviously catch up on as we make more and more videos and more content and other stuff as well. Um, but but I kind of thought this was like a good way of making a you know video again, getting a little stuff done on the Bronco here. Because like I said, we once these uh, rear quarters get all lined up, um, pretty much this thing needs painted because th that's almost the first step in this. Because I don't want to paint after all the suspension's done or anything else is on. Um, one that'll be too tall and two. Um, it's obviously going to be all powder coated and such, so don't want to mess that up. But once those get all um, fit, whew, this thing's going to get painted, which is crazy. But if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, drop me a comment if you haven't already. Um, tell me what you think of this. Tell me what you think of all of it. And uh, take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one.